Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing 20 things that you probably don't clean as often as you should. You all know that I like to have things clean, but when I was thinking about things for this video, there are a few things that I haven't cleaned in quite a while. So I'm pretty sure that even if you are a very clean person, there will be some things that you may not think of that you need to clean a little more often. So I'm going to show you how to clean them. We're going to talk about getting rid of germs, odors, mold, and mildew. So let's go ahead and jump right in. These are in no particular order, but we are going to start with our toothbrushes. These definitely need to be cleaned regularly because we are putting them in our mouths with lots of germs and we want to make sure, especially when we are sick, that we clean them. So you can use vinegar, just distilled white vinegar or peroxide and just fill a glass or a cup so that the entire brush is immersed and then just soak it for at least 15 minutes and rinse it and they are sanitized. Next we have our reusable grocery bags. You may not think about all of the germs and bacteria that can be lurking on your grocery bags, but it's important to clean them properly because we are putting our food in them obviously, but putting these bags in our trunk and then on our countertops. Once you've cleaned your grocery bags very well, you can spray them with an antimicrobial. I'm using Trisoguard and I want to thank Trisoguard for sponsoring this video. I was so happy to find Trisoguard because it's eco-friendly and biodegradable, so there are no harsh chemicals, no bleach, and Trisoguard will inhibit the growth of bacteria, so it's perfect to spray on your grocery bags. Next we have our gym bags and this is something I didn't think a lot about until I was thinking of all the things for this video. So depending on what type of bag you use for your gym bag, you may be able to throw it in the washing machine. But again, you want to clean it properly and then you can use Trisil Guard to spray it down. And again, this is going to help prevent the growth of bacteria mold and mildew, which we definitely don't want on our gym bag, especially if we toss it on the table when we come in the door or hang it up in our closet with our clothes. We really want to protect ourselves from all of that nastiness. Trisalguard has a great offer for my viewers. You can get two bottles for $19.99 plus shipping and handling. I'll have a link in my description box below. This is a great deal because Trisalguard is usually $16.99 for one bottle. You guys know I love to wear my hats to the gym to keep my sweaty hair out of my face, but that means my hats are getting kind of sweaty and whether you wear a hat, your children, or your spouse wears a hat, it's always good to wash them, but we know that if we just throw them in the washer, they usually don't look as nice when they come out. So I actually found these hat forms on Amazon, I'll put a link below, but you just put your hat on there, snap it together, throw it in the washer, and your hat comes out clean, and it still is in great shape. It doesn't ruin the structure of the hat at all. It's really important to wash your hat so that you're not putting all of that bacteria and gross germs back on your skin. So we want to keep our skin fresh and clean, and sometimes we don't think about our hats and all the germs that are on them. So it's a good thing to wash your hats regularly. Next, we have our light switches. These can easily be overlooked when we're cleaning because we're usually focused on the countertops and the floor and the sink. And we may forget to clean the light switches or we might just do a quick wipe, but they are constantly being touched. This is the one in the kitchen. We use this one a lot. If we come in from being outside, we may not have washed our hands. If we're cooking, we may touch it with something gross on our hands. And so 
there can be all kinds of bacteria and germs on your light switches. So they get really dirty. If you haven't cleaned yours in a while, you might be shocked when you see how dirty they can get. So I am using a toothbrush. I get a four pack of toothbrushes from the Dollar Tree and I use them just for cleaning. I keep them with my cleaning supplies and they're great for getting in those small spots. Now that it's clean, I am wiping it down with Trisol Guard. I just sprayed some on my rag. Of course, we don't want to spray anything directly on our light switches, especially when they are on. So a little bit on a rag while your light switches are off will do the trick. Next, we have our throw pillows and blankets. Now, some of these can go in the washing machine, but I have found that a lot of them cannot. So then you use them all the time and bacteria is gonna grow. You're putting your face on it and it's not fun to think about, but we really should. So thankfully, Trisol Guard is great for things like pillows and blankets and you can just spray it down. It is going to create a shield that inhibits and protects against odor causing bacteria. So it's great because Trisol Guard does not have a scent at all. So you don't have to worry about it smelling in some artificial way and then lying your head down on the pillow or covering up with a blanket and it's smelling, you know, that fake smell. Our remotes probably have so many germs and bacteria they definitely don't get cleaned as often as they should and we are touching them while we're snacking sometimes or if we have a cold and touch the remote lots of germs on there lots of bacteria so i wipe mine down with alcohol to clean the germs and you want to do a really thorough job and get in between the buttons and get the back of it and everything and then Trisol Guard is also great because it is going to prevent bacteria growth, but you don't want to spray it directly on your remote. So I just sprayed it on a cotton ball and wiped it down with the Trisol Guard. Next, we have our steering wheel and all of the buttons and knobs in our car. We're constantly touching them. We're in and out of places. We may even eat in our car and we might not wipe our things down very often. So it's great to wipe these down regularly. I know some of you have mentioned that you keep wipes in your car for your steering wheel, which is great. But if you aren't one of those people that does that, it's a good time to wipe down your steering wheel and all of the knobs and buttons and things in your car. And then you can spray it with Trisol Guard. That is going to prevent any mold or bacteria from growing. And for this, I just sprayed the Trisol Guard right on my cloth. We probably all know we need to wipe down our keyboard and mouse more often. Again, we're constantly touching it. And I work from home, but I know that I need to wipe this down regularly. But if you work in an office, you definitely need to wipe yours down, especially if you share computers with anyone. So I just use rubbing alcohol for this as well, and then just get into all of the grooves and then wipe down my mouse. Our cell phones really need to be cleaned often. We are putting them right against our face. We're constantly touching them. Some of us bring them into the bathroom with us and we're touching them at the gym, we're touching them at the grocery store while we're making dinner. I just can't even imagine all the germs on all the cell phones. So it's really important to wipe them down very regularly. I like to use alcohol for this as well. Did you know that your kitchen sink can be the dirtiest place in your home? I know it seems like it would be pretty clean because we're always washing things and using soap in there, but because we are rinsing produce where if you eat meat, cutting meat, 
we're rinsing off plates that have had raw meat on them and cutting boards and all kinds of things. We're putting food down the garbage disposal. So lots of germs, lots of bacteria, and the whole area around the sink, the faucet, the soap dispenser, the dish soap dispenser, all need to be cleaned properly, regularly. So it's great to wipe these down. You may want to get in the habit of wiping everything down after dinner. And I like to use either baking soda and vinegar for my sink, or I use a cream cleanser that has baking soda in it and just really scrub everything down. I like to use one of my cleaning toothbrushes for this. So that little lip under your countertop can get kind of grimy in there and then all around your garbage disposal can get kind of grimy. And then once it's all clean, I like to spray it down with Trisil Guard. This is going to prevent odors. This is going to prevent bacteria growth. So it's really great for the kitchen sink, the faucets, the soap dispensers. It's also great to wipe down your door and appliance handles and Trisil Guard is great to spray on those as well. You guys know I love to use my cleaning gloves, but what I often do not show in videos is that I wash them. So if you don't use cleaning gloves, obviously you wash your hands after you clean the toilet. So if you're wearing cleaning gloves, just keep them on and wash them really well, just like if you weren't wearing them. Because if you clean your toilet, just toss those cleaning gloves in a cabinet and then bust them out again to wipe down your counter. That's kind of gross. So we want to keep them nice and clean. Trisil Guard is great to spray on your cleaning gloves because it's going to fight against odor causing bacteria, mold, and mildew. And that way when you grab your cleaning gloves again, they'll be nice and clean for you to clean. Next, we are going to clean our AirPods, earbuds, whatever you use. We're constantly touching these two. They're going in our ear. We need to clean them very regularly. I wipe mine down with alcohol. Again, you don't want to spray any liquid onto your AirPods or earbuds, but it's great to wipe them down to kill any germs. If you wear an eye mask, that is another thing to wash regularly. You can see I have two. I wash mine regularly. I just throw it in the washing machine. They're great to wash with sheets. And that way, anything that is touching your face is really nice and clean. It's great to change your pillowcases and your sheets regularly. Maybe you do your sheets once a week and you may want to bump up your pillowcases to a couple times a week because your face is lying on there and you don't want to have that bacteria on your face. Also change out your hand towels in the bathroom and your kitchen towels and dish rags regularly. I use a clean kitchen towel and dish rag every day and then I change out the bath hand towel every couple days unless it's wet. And if we have company, I change it too, but at least every couple days. I saved the best for last. No, none of us like to clean out the garbage can. However, we need to. So it's always good to wipe it down thoroughly. If you have stainless steel, you may want to use a stainless steel cleaner and just get rid of any germs. And then Trisil Guard is great to spray on your garbage can as well. It is going to prevent odor causing bacteria from growing. It's going to prevent the growth of mold and mildew. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to check out Trisil Guard. I will have a link in my description box below and you can use that link to get two bottles of Trisil Guard for $19.99 plus shipping and handling. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.